It's Miss Street again for the last time today. Um, we're here with third grade math, and we're going to build up into um, what we've done in first grade and second grade with geometry. And we're looking at fractions. So this standard is 3 and F1. And um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, I tried. No, that's not nice. I tried to um, use um, Easter eggs the other day for our subitizing and I realized Miss Street just doesn't have enough Easter eggs. So that's okay. Um, if you have Easter eggs at your house, you can use those um, to play some subitizing games. But for now, we're just gonna use uh, what Miss Street has and I hope you're doing this with me um, because it's uh, really helping you um, with the base 10. It's all about that base. So, let me get our song ready. This song, for real, is called Toe Jam. I'll repeat that. This song is called Toe Jam. I don't know. Here we go. Hold on. See if I can get to play. <laughs> Good job with your subitizing. Yesterday, guys, we did a problem with our good friend Ben. Do you remember? Ben, mm -hmm. ben uh, wanted to uh, make his backyard beautiful. He wanted to design something for his backyard. So he wants to partition his yard into thirds. So one third would be a garden, one third would be grass, and one third would be the pool. Hey, Ani! So, uh, we showed one way Ben could partition his backyard. Actually, we did two, because we're awesome like that. So, we did one uh, vertical, and we did one horizontally uh, to represent one-third. And this builds on our second grade geometry standard we just did, because this thirds and these thirds, they can, they can interchange because they have the same area. I know, Ms. Street's blowing her own mind back. So we're going to build on that today because yesterday it asked us to uh, how many other ways could Ben partition his yard? So let's think about Ben and his yard. How many other ways can he partition? And you guys with this standard, you're supposed to be able to uh, partition into halves, fourths, thirds, sixths, and eighths. Halves, thirds, fourths, sixths, and eighths. So what do you want to try? You want to try sixths? Okay. So yesterday we did thirds. So let's pretend this is Ben's backyard. I know I'm drawing it bigger. My magnitude is bigger. Um, but I want you to be able to see it. So um, if I divided or partitioned my backyard into thirds, how can I partition my backyard into sixth? Hmm. What do you think? Just draw a horizontal line this way. We would, we would partition this in half. And how many equal parts does that give us? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. 
But guess what? Miss Street wants to make it difficult because I think you're ready for that. So we know if we have thirds, here's the backyard. We know if we have thirds, we can take each third. What did we do to these thirds? We took each third and we partitioned it in half. And in second grade, in our geometry lesson, we learned that we can divide or partition um, half in different ways. So watch this, okay? Let's say uh, Ben wants to partition this third this way. Let's say he wants to partition the middle third another way. Oh, wow, Miss Street. Seriously? It's true. Hey, Amy. And let's say he wants to partition the third third another way. Get ready, because here I come. I'm bringing you a line of stream, so get ready. Ready. That's not beautiful, but it's good. Check out what Miss Street did. It's a true story. I did one. Two, three, four, five, six parts. That's a true story. Are you proud of me or what? Okay, so now let's decide uh, which which parts can be what. So if that's mystery went from really easy, this one, and then, and then I went to like blammo. So I might have went too fast on that one. So if your kiddos just want to do thirds, and divide this half this way, this, excuse me, this third and half this way, like that. There's several different ways, and Ms. Street would love to see the different ways that you guys come up with to partition Ben's yard. Remember, you can do it in halves, fourths, thirds, halves, thirds, fourths, sixths, and eighths. So yesterday we did thirds, today we're going to do sixths. So let's talk about it. What do we want one sixth of his backyard to be? Grass, okay. So I'm gonna color it. I'm gonna color one sixth green for grass. What do you want another sixth to represent? Gravel, okay. We can make little gravels. I'm gonna put my gravel over here. Is that okay with you? So there's some gravel. What would you like another sixth of your, um, another sixth of Ben's backyard to be? Flowers? Okay, let's do this one. So we've got one sixth is grass, one sixth is gravel, one sixth are flowers. What else could we do? Hmm, what else is outside? Hmm. One sixth trees? Okay. Let's put our trees, oh, let's put our trees here. One sixth of the backyard is trees, one sixth is flowers. One sixth is uh, gravel. All right, what do we want our other six, another six to be? The pool. I think the triangular part would be cool to be a pool. All right, so one sixth is the pool. Whew. We got one more sixth. Hmm. We've got grass. We've got trees. We've got. Flowers, a pool, and gravel. What else could one sixth of our backyard be? Hmm. Hey, Alyssa. Hmm. Miss Street's thinking. I'm having a moment. You want it to be a food area? I think that's a great idea. So, like a patio, like a table, and some chairs. So, we've got grass. One sixth is grass. One sixth is trees. One sixth is a pool. Ooh. One sixth is gravel. One sixth 
these flowers and walk out the trees and one six is the patio. I think that's a beautiful backyard, don't you? Yeah, so I wanna show you one more way because third graders, you guys should be able to do this with an area model, that's what these are, and a length model. And a length model is a number line, okay? So let's, let's use the number line to partition um, into six for Ben's, um, the six different parts that Ben wants um, his backyard to be. So, here we go. So we said we want one sixth of our yard to be grass. And Miss Street's just gonna use words. I hope you can see that. Oh, you can. So that's one sixth it's grass. We want one sixth to be trees. So that's a sixth. We want one sixth to be flowers. We want one six to be a pool. And we want one six to be gravel. Am I finished? Oh, we want one six to be patio. Can you still see? Yeah. So let's see, we've got one six plus one six plus one six. That's three six of the, the backyard, four sixths, five sixths, and six sixths makes the one whole backyard. Backyard. You know what this is reminding me street of? I'm going to go there, and you guys may not know the backyard again, but it's true. Backyard again. Anybody? Okay. So, what we're showing here is the length model that we have divided our garden into six parts, equal parts. And we're taking that second grade standard that we just did with geometry, and we're showing that um, equal parts means the same area. They don't necessarily have to be the same shape. So that's taking it to some serious rigor. Um, I see some of my most trusted and well-loved colleagues watching this video. So um, if you have questions or comments, or uh, want to help Miss Street learn more, please let me know. Um, I hope you guys have the best day ever. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Tomorrow is a very special day here in my family, and I'll let you know what that is tomorrow because it'll be very exciting. Okay? Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you have any questions, let Miss Street know. Quit bending over the table. Anyway, I'll see you soon.